So the things I like in your setup are the following. Club head is squared up behind the ball. The club and ball is in the middle of your stance. For an iron, that's perfect. Grip, both hands were working pretty well as a unit. The main thing was having more of your weight sitting on your heels. And you want to have, you know, your upper body, if you're tilted a bit more from your hips and you step back a little bit, you can be on the balls of your feet, in fact. And you can get your neck and chin in a little more upright yeah, or prominent say, position. Your, your back's even straighter. Yeah, and that's due to balance points, right? Yeah. If I was sitting back on my heels as well, of course, I'm going to have to dig in. Plus, you add intention on top of that, everything's going to lock up and crowd up on you, right? So, really, the big thing would be put the club head down, square it up behind the ball, take your grip from there, just tilt from the hips forward, achieve that spine angle, follow that with a little knee break so you're on the balls of your feet, and by raising your head up, and still viewing the ball comfortably, that verifies you're in those positions. And plus a mirror is a great visual aid as well to use at home to check those positions in future. So from the positions we talked about, you know, here's how we see you go back now. It's basically upper body, arms, shoulders are moving, and legs are separating. Okay. So there's more of a lift. Left knee pops out, right leg locks. And then it's all dependent on how well you recover to hit that ball. So top of your swing. Yeah. Here we go. You're going to bring yeah, the arms down. Yeah, the replant ground. the left foot, flex the right knee again, try to clear the left hip, and extend your arms through. And if the timing is good, you know, that all can function and have you hit a good shot. It's just going to be very difficult to be repeatable that way. So what we talked about was keeping your lower body much quieter. Like, I'm not doing anything with my legs. That's all yeah. natural due to the turn motion of my shoulders. And you started to do that. I've given you the awareness of making a practice wing where you graze a ground or a mat surface to try to replicate that motion through a ball and get you away from bobbing up and down uh, in your practice swings as well. And apply that good balanced position prior to any swing with any club. Okay?